Do I like how nice my car looks? This is a fine automobile. So here we are. Uh, my good friend Sam, uh, another member of the RNG crew, has uh, come to visit me here in Los Angeles, California. We're just hanging out. We've been uh, seeing the sights, and as we went and saw the sights, we realized, <laughs> hey, this kind of reminds me of GTA, because GTA is based, well, GTA 5 is based in LA, kind of like a fictional version of LA. So we thought it would be fun just to kind of go see the sites that we've actually IRL been seeing. And I believe the first on the list is the Griffith Observatory, which I don't, what do they call it in the game? Do you remember? I have no clue what they call it in the game, but we're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I don't, uh... Don't blow up your car. <laughs> But yeah, so we're gonna check out uh, Griffith Observatory first and kind of see the sights. And I m maybe I'll put up. I I'm not sure. Uh, oh, there it there is. There it is, right there. Yeah, the the standaloneness of it kind of looks like how it does in real life. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, maybe I'll put up some pictures. I don't. Know. I, I took a few pictures while we were there, so I'll I'll maybe I'll put those up. Just like see what the view was like. It was really nice seeing. Uh, I tell you what, one thing I can say for sure is the roads are a lot wider getting up to it, <laughs> because like the the because there's there's actually two roads that kind of loops around, and the road on one side is kind of a bit wider, but the road on the other side it's basically like a dirt path that just you could fall off at any time. And so, in fact, they actually close it at night because it's so narrow. Well, actually, I, I say that, I don't know that for a fact, but I, I feel like that's why they do it. It seems like the safe, uh, yeah. the safe assumption. And then, and then the road on the other side is not much wider, but there's a lot more guardrails and stuff on it, so I feel like that might be the thing. Or you can always walk through the spooky uh, little <laughs> yeah. forest area. That they make yeah, we, we, we saw a couple of uh, uh, parking lot attendants, and we were like, hey, uh, what's the best way to walk from here? And he was like, well, you can follow the road up this way, or you can go up this hill. It's really steep. And we're like, ah, why not? It's just steep. And we go and, like, no lights past this, like, tree line, and we're just in black, just dark. Like, can't see anything. And, oh, yeah, no, this is way different. <laughs> it is not that open, but actually, ooh, ooh, pause right there. Okay, so... Oh no, like literally, like that's exactly yeah. how it looks. Now, uh, pan to the left, like just slowly pan to the left. Um, okay, right so right there. there, that road is relatively accurate. Like the road kind of goes to the side yeah. like that, but then, okay, pan behind you, that parking lot is not there. That is there. definitely not existing. And actually, like the direction you're looking right now, the, the, the other road kind of goes straight back like that. Yes. Uh, it does not come from the side. But I mean, the observatory itself, like actually get closer and see. See what you see. Um, oh, actually, uh, pause for a second. Like there, uh, they don't have them on there, but they have a bunch of famous astronomers around that. That's right. Yeah. Around that uh, pillar there. <laughs> Plus, I can see a lot more stars <laughs> here than I did uh, yeah. on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, drawback of uh, being in Los Angeles is there's a lack of lighting. But uh, yeah, yeah. And there's actually a cool exhibit outside, and actually, I don't no, that's that's here. that's. That's not exactly what it is. They have like little sundials and stuff, and I think that's what it's trying to be. Yeah. Um, but they have like a, a spot, like right, actually right where you just passed, where it's like, here's the sun, and then like to scale, like, you know, it's like one millionth scale or whatever it was, uh, they say like, okay, this is how far the earth is, and this is how far Mars is, and like the uh, last yes. ring is like in the parking lot, like across the property. Or whatever like that. It was like really huge. But then they showed the sun was like a grain of sand size in that scale. This is the Galileo, Galileo Observatory. Which is not a bad name. For, no, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. For an observatory. I kind of wish that's what uh, it was called in real life. Galileo. <laughs> now let's see. Just have to skip like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's actually really similar. It's like, very similar. I mean, there's a couple of things missing, but like this little like walkway, like like literally down to the canopies, yeah, like they had the little right canopies here. there. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Like just I have health this, pack. That little first aid though was not there. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then going around the side like that, the little walkway. Down, okay. Wow, they were actually pretty accurate. Oh, even for the observatory itself. They even have the. Uh, little telescope. Yeah, that that view is definitely bigger. Like the the. The buildings, yeah, those buildings. Yep. are much further away in that view, and there it. 
Actually, pan back to the left. Mm -hmm. See, like it actually stretches way further out in that yeah. direction. And there's no tall buildings like right up next to it. Where was the Hollywood sign? Yeah, in, in, in real life, uh, the Hollywood sign would be basically in the direction you're looking, maybe a little yeah. bit further to the right. But I don't know if it's even visible from, from here. It doesn't look like it. Actually, what, Unless... no, isn't it Vinewood? The, oh, in, yeah, in game? I yeah. I haven't played this game in forever. But I and forever. neither have I. Oh like, God. literally, like, we were, we were at the observatory and it's like, you know what this reminds me of? And yeah. I was like, God, I haven't touched that game in years. Yeah, no, this, this is, is really this cool. is relatively accurate. They even have I these mean, little placards. Yeah, which there. actually I, I'm pretty sure, because they had two of them in each section. I'm pretty sure because on one side there was a telescope and the other side there was just a placard. Is that it used to be a telescope and it broke yeah. down and instead of putting it back in, they just covered it. <laughs> people stopped bringing quarters and they just couldn't. Uh, I'm telling you, like, and uh, people at Griffith Observatory put a card reader on that. You will get so much more money. <laughs> it's going to happen. I guarantee. Months. I guarantee. Like, oh, you there put, it is. Oh, wow, it's on the opposite, opposite side. side. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. With... Oh, my God. How do I zoom in? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we don't, we don't remember the controls either, so there is that. Yeah, no, I mean, like, like that little outcropping even. Like, yeah, I was, I'm impressed at how accurate Because, I mean, the, the Los Santos as a whole is like, nothing like Los Angeles. Like for one, it's not, a, not an island. Uh, you know, so Definitely like, you know, Creative Liberties, you know, make some differences for, okay, this is a little bit different around this yeah, side too. But uh, yeah, there, there may oh. be various reasons why they, they made it different. Uh, one being, you know, they might get in trouble for making it exactly like Los Angeles. I don't know. Cause I mean, the division's exactly like Manhattan. So, uh, who knows? or actually a, a more, more, Timely reference would be Spider-Man is exactly like Manhattan. I wonder if there's a difference like when you are actually referencing that you're in Manhattan in, in Spider-Man, whereas this is like a... This is a fictional yeah. version of Los Angeles, yeah. Mm. And yeah, like, like I said, I'm not sure exactly the inspiration behind that, but it definitely is like there's key elements that are exactly the same, and then the rest Ooh. is like oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that being there. Yeah. When we um, okay, so I guess uh, next we can go to uh, Pacific Coast Highway, which yep. I don't I don't remember what it's called in the game, uh, and then check that out because that's also we we went to the Santa Monica Pier and you know saw some sights, saw some you know crazy buskers and stuff, and yeah, just kind of we we actually ended up I, I missed the stop uh, to exit at Santa Monica Pier, so we just ended up on the PCH. That was really cool. And though. yeah, it was. I mean, it's a cool like uh, drive uh, or a place to yeah. drive. You know, if you're just like out for a Sunday Sunday business, but uh, but yeah. So was, you know, it was nice that we ended up on it and just like checked it out for a little bit. But we turned around, went back, and then hung out at uh, the pier for a while. But as we were driving down, it's like once again, this is more GTA business. <laughs> I've got been a place in GTA. <laughs> it was a very weird nostalgia feeling because I'd never been there in my life. Yeah. But I felt like I had been there in my life for at least yeah, a few be hours. because like that particular part of the PCH, it looked like what it does in the game. Yeah, now they even have like the um, those tall, skinny houses like down pat. Right. Uh, which I remember when we when we were passing, I was like, "This is that guy's therapist's building," <laughs> and Michael's Michael's therapist. Yeah, building. yeah. I don't know if it was the exact building, but one of those buildings is here. Ooh, I should man. learn how to drive. I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need a new car soon. That's cute. Wonderful. I assume that the easiest way to get there is just continue to go west until we hit beach. I I don't even know. I mean, all the all the streets kind of lead to each other. There's not not many dead ends in this game, so you I mean you're probably pretty pretty close to being correct. Oh, oh, there's a jump there. Go off, go off the jump. Go off okay. The jump. Oh, yeah, look at this. Woohoo. Wow. Oh, hi. <laughs> you imagine if we were just up there and then you just see car like, oh, there's a car. Oh, who the fuck put that tree there? <laughs> 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 well then, 
<laughs> just tree and then nothing. So uh, let, hopefully it'll end us up uh, near near uh, or at a hospital that's near the near. the beach. Far. Mount Zora. Actually, how many hospitals are in this game? I keep responding at the same one. So, is it just the one? Maybe it is just the one. There might be two, but I might just be dying in the same place, I believe. Okay, so yeah, and see where that Ferris wheel is? That's where the pier oh, is, yes, and then it, it just goes straight up off of that, okay. which actually is how the Santa Monica Pier is. Like From that, like, the, the highway just kind of goes along, yeah. you know, the PCH it just kind of goes along the side of the coast. So yeah, it's pretty okay. relatively it's accurate. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Fake Camaro. Ooh, okay. It's gonna... Okay. Uh, oh, what do you think? What the fuck? Don't make me kill No, 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 no. Well... Okay. See. Oh, oh my oh. god. He just <laughs> ran me Okay, over. now shoot him. Oh my god, she's gone. Nah, uh, too late. I can't. Oh well. We'll just take this. Oh, no, there's another Camaro. No, oh, we're taking the little smart No! I want it. You probably never would think you'd get robbed driving this type of car. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Who steals a smart car? <laughs> when you can't get the Camaro. I think if you turn left here, you can get onto the really highway and then... You know, I kind of wish the Scientology building was around here. Uh, the, the Kiflam building? <laughs> is that what it is here? Yeah, that, that's the... Uh, I No, that's, uh, the Kiflam is like the word that they use uh, gotcha. like to say, you know, Teradalu or, you know, Namaste. Or, oh, that, oh, that thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, I cannot remember the name of the religion, though. Mm -hmm. I'll pop it on the screen right now. Pop and uh, But yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like uh, making fun of... not. I don't think it's specifically Scientology, but it's making fun of like what many would consider like a hack uh, religion or yeah. a cult or what have you. Because it has those, you know, cultist tendencies, wearing the same clothes and, you know, the chants and stuff. And the most annoying achievement in the entire game, running around the desert for, was it, an hour or something like that? I don't remember it's doing so that, annoying, so I definitely but, never, never did. But, okay, so here is uh, what is the GT Maybe, equivalent of the PCH. And I believe you're already past the pier, but, oh, oh she is. Just, just get out of the car and take it. No, it's okay. We'll be civil right now. Yeah, we went past the pier. Okay, but I mean, yeah, just go ahead and go ahead and keep going that direction, because uh, you can see like, yeah. Oh, I tell you one thing that it didn't have is intersections, because I was yes. actually trying because I because I missed my stop. I was trying to turn around, and I could not find a place to stop and turn around or uh, like turn right or left or something. Yeah, this just continues to go up. The, uh, yeah, but yeah. So this particular section right here right. is what we were reminded because it had. The cliffside on one side, and then the pedestrian walkways over top, and then the the skinny buildings, yeah. skinny tall buildings these, on these the... little skinny buildings. I was just like, ah, oh, I know these. Yeah. And then, I mean, the cliffside here, and I and I was thinking this yesterday. I feel like if I really wanted to, I could probably run up this cliffside. Mm -mm, maybe I can't. That's a lie. But I could maybe. Over here. Well, in real life, you might be able to scale it, but uh... in real, life, it looked very steep. You know. I mean, you'd need like you know, like proper like boots with like hooks True. in them or something to True. climb it. Let's but go, uh, and go to the pier. Yeah, let's uh, find 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 your way to the pier, and uh, we'll. Wow, what is happening there? Oh, that's okay. You probably can't see that, the viewer at home, but there is some bad artifacting. I think it's the TV doing that. Oh, oh, I was like, what do you? Yeah, I see that too. Because the the. Samsung televisions, they are awesome and have nice uh, picture and everything, but they have some modes that are just questionable. Oh, damn. I can't go. In there. fact, it, oh, I think I know what it is. It might be, there's there's like a fake fr high frame rate setting to where basically it like inserts like fake frames in between if you're at 30. Oh, okay. And I think that's what it is. We made it. There we are. Okay, yeah, so like right off the bat, like there's nothing like this on, well... No, there is a parking there lot. There is a little parking lot, but, but I don't think, I don't think it goes close. that far out yeah. to the ocean. Yeah. Plus, there is like a little memorial there now, which might be newer. No, no, um, that that was kind of like a makeshift thing because that that I, I was there like a few like couple month month or two ago, 
and that wasn't there. I think somebody just put that there. Yeah. As it was a, uh, it was an Iraq War, uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, like Desert uh, yeah, War think, yeah. uh, Veterans Memorial, uh, just showing all that had passed. Yeah, this in, was definitely in more beach. Yeah, the like, the parking lot did not come this far out. Right around here. Yeah. Plus, the one thing that I actually was doing this before, there's no sign that has your Oh, the Santa Monica Pier sign. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that plus your favorite sex positions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's no soda jerk or uh, the Albright. Yeah. <laughs> the Albright or yeah. the merry-go-round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put that picture up right here, too, uh, so you can enjoy in that splendor. Um, okay, so that's that's the, the building on the right. That's like where the bubblegum shrimp building is. Yes, this is a... And what is this? Out of town. Out of town or welcome. welcome. Ooh. Okay. Oot. Oot. Peace oot. Yeah, and we'll of course you can't go in. Yeah. But yeah, and then like on this side, like yeah, the the roller coaster, the Ferris wheel, and then some like random buildings. Although there is way too few people on this. Yeah, there were. It was like Times Square yesterday. Yeah, we it was so packed. And actually, actually, look out in the distance, like that, the building on the left, that's like the, um... All the way down there. The, the Harbor Authority or oh, something mm -hmm. like that. Like, that building, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty accurate. Similar. And then the building on the right, it was like a restaurant or something. Yeah. Uh, that looks pretty accurate. Um, there was no concrete on the pier out this far. This, this is all concrete and steel, which that did not happen. Pleasure Pier. Pleasure Pier. You know, right around this area, there was the Whack-A-Mole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but now it's a burger shot. And, yeah, what did Kirsten say? It's like, what is this, guacamole? No, she asked, she was like, um, it was taco, it was like guacamole tacos or something like that. Well, it, no, it was guac, uh, or, 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 you, no, yeah, it wasn't, was it, I thought it was guacamole or something That's like what that. it was. Was it? And she read it as guacamole. Guacamole, yeah. yeah. And, and she was, was like, oh, do I whack, like. Do you do whack-a-mole while eating tacos? And, then <laughs> and like, I was like, no, whack-a-mole. Whack and she was like, <sighs> and then she left. <laughs> I was like, it's not my joke. Come on now. Piers definitely. Yeah, and right around here is the dude with the sitar. Yes. The and sitar. then and then on that side was the dude that was a comedian? He was trying. Like, we, like when we first got out there, there was this guy with a microphone and just kind of standing there talking. And, like, I didn't hear any jokes. <laughs> But there was nobody around him either. But then we came out and like we got there right around sunset. So we stuck around long enough to catch the sunset. And as we're walking back, there's a huge crowd around him. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe he was just waiting for people to show up to start like telling jokes or stories or something. And we, we never ended up like hanging around long enough to, to check it out. Oh my God, yeah, wow, this, this, is, is, this is like really accurate, yeah. This, this is different, but I mean, back in 2013 when this was made, this might have been here. Yeah, but I mean, if you like, you rotate around, like, yeah, that, that, that little area. Like, is, yeah, it's oh, like little, this, little bandstand stairs, kind of yeah. thing, yeah. What a, what a neat, like, thing where GTA, some of GTA can be, uh, well, a it's like they, 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 they made the landmarks mm -hmm. accurate, which yeah. I, I thought was really cool. And I didn't realize this accurate. Like, I remember playing this and seeing this, but the last time I played it, like, I didn't live out here. So, I had no solid grounds for comparison, but now that I've like been to these places like a few times and and you know we hung out and like just talking about it, I was like, wow, this is this is actually pretty solid. Yeah, um, one other difference, like this is actually a little bit different. It sticks out uh, further. Yeah, it goes out it's not as further. deep, but also like pan up and to the right a little bit. There's actually like um, I want to say it's a sandbar, but maybe it's just like rocky oh, business. Yeah, yeah, but there's yeah, like yeah. rocks actually poking out. You can see the seagulls hanging yeah, out on it. Yeah, the and there's there. like little buoys to like say, you know, hey, if you're in a boat, don't come this close. Oh yeah, look at this, this wraps around. Yeah, and that, that well, we didn't go down to that point, so maybe no, there was a yeah, uh, way up, but I don't think so. It was definitely, the pier was smaller. It's this creepy part right here. Oh, no, <laughs> I didn't want you to do that. Damn it. Oh well. But we, we've seen what we came to see. And, <laughs> uh, did. yeah, so, uh, so there you have it, our little take on uh, experiencing the real life versions of the GTA landmarks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our little antic, antidote, an anic anecdote, anecdotes. Anecdote. But uh, yeah, and of course there are plenty of other games that kind of do this kind of stuff. So, uh, and we both 
have lived, and he still lives in the Manhattan, New York City area. I do live there. So if if you did enjoy this, like us checking out stuff and like referencing landmarks and stuff, uh, let let us know in the comments, and we'll make some more videos like this of just like comparing like real life depictions of video game locations. And who knew how fun that could be when you just go out to visit them? Like, oh, I've been here before. Right. But yeah. Yeah. In a in, game. in a game. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.